Welcome to episode 1083, Mota Riodi, from college dropout philosophy major to banking tycoon. This is an outline of episode 1083. From a small entity, a small bank, up into the massive conglomerate that it is today. Opportunity is the 1970 to 1990 is the globalizations. So at that time, I have hired about 86 American working with us. So this is a, a human resources globalization, and they using these 86 uh, Americans uh, reorganize our business organization, and then change the management, and then let our Company go IPO, so this is a capital globalization, and certainly is uh, using these uh, Americans, and then our business go international. So three three steps in the globalization economy, and then I think this is the uh, the big change for our group. group. Was born in 1929 to wealthy Chinese family in in Malang, East Java, Indonesia. A painful childhood. 两个月以后，我祖父过世，所以我就留在中国，跟我妈妈就留在中国陪我的祖母。那么那个时候呢，是中国的军阀时代，所以非常的痛苦，非常的困难。不久有第二次世界大战。所以我经历到日本侵占印度尼西亚的情况，所以这二十头二十年的时间呢，对我来讲，生活是非常的痛苦。Next, from philosopher to banker, he studied philosophy at Nanjing University in China, but he never graduated. Called Mukhtar Riyadi, moved to Jakarta with dreams of banking. In 1955, he founded Commerce Capital, which later became Lippo Bank in Jakarta, with 2,000 U.S. dollars. Changing of the era, you know, from 1950 to 1970s, Indonesia has been independent. So at that times, no monopoly economy dominated by the foreigner. So everything is a zero chance for growing our business. His big breakthrough came by hiring 86 Americans in the 1970s. Have hired about 86 Americans working with us. Three decades later, he transformed its banking landscape and laid foundations for Panin Bank, Lippo Bank, and Indonesia's now largest private bank, BCA. So he moved to real estate and built Lippo into the largest listed property developer of the world's fourth most populous nation. Then he took on education, building schools for Indonesia's young population, and creating Universitas Pelita Harapan, malls for an expanding middle class, media for transparency, infrastructure for enhanced communication, banks and funds for wealth and job creation. Today, a Lippo Group company owns the U.S. Bank Tower in L.A. and landmark properties around the globe. In 2021, he's 92 years old. This is the headquarter of Lippo Group in Jakarta, Indonesia. His two sons, James and Stephen, are running his empire. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Mota Riyadi Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.